Hello, all you Axonellers. Don't live in here. A sunny day in Chicago. Despite being winter. Reporting on, on the war so far in the Axis and Allies 1942.2 edition. The recap of our game. A YouTube game ongoing. Round one is completed with Kentucky Sharpshooter as the U.S. No Limit as U.K., which is okay. Lucas General as Russia. So the new Japan Man again for the third game in a row. Warpig as Germany. <laughs> if you haven't yet, subscribe to all their channels and watch our our games and videos. Like I said, we completed one, round one with the, with the Americans' turn. I had to do it for Kentucky because he's uh, busy with, I, I guess, with fans of responsibilities. But we hope he'll join us uh, next game. I also made a mistake in my other video where, where I says War Pigs going next on this game, but it's actually Luke Grass General Russia is supposed to go on this, in this game. I forgot Russia goes first in his in his uh, version of ours. So, uh, I'll show you what Bluegrass did for his Russian forces. Right. He basically, he bought eight, he bought, um, I believe, eight troops. And cons consolidated in Russia. But he also took over West Russia from the German forces. But as you see, Germany, t War Pigs Germany took it back. Um, more for that later. But, and he consolidated in the Siberian coast, or Siberian territory with his five troops right there. And plus he lost a sub as he was bravely defending my battleship in transport, which got sunk, unfortunately. And so uh, Bluegrass would be co collecting, I believe, 26 and 8 PCs. Not to war pigs. Germany. He basically, I forget what he, exactly what he um, bought, but he bought basically all navy. He bought a carrier, <laughs> a couple of transports, and I think a destroyer, which he put in there at the time. And he he's both. Of course, I said he both. He took. It took back West Russia from from the Russian heavy losses on both sides. So he left with one artillery only. Mm. Costly battle for both sides in that battle. And he took over Karelia as well. Or yes, Karelia as well. What else did he do? He didn't do anything in Africa. Of course. His subs in um, Luftwaffe sunk the British um, battleship and transport along with the Russian sub as well. Minimal losses to himself. He only lost the sub, I believe. He and he took over Gibraltar as well. The lineup looks like for a sea lion. <laughs> oh. Well, that was spooky and scary. Look at how he's lying up there. And he collected, let's see what, I mean, uh, 43 IPCs for his next turn. And who's next? Um, My UK forces. I bought mainly infantry. Well, eight infantry in Britain. In infantry and uh, artillery for India. Like I said, I lost my my small fleet over there, and so I had. What did I do? Oh yeah, I, with my bomber, I sunk his. What do you believe you call it? His German destroyer. Let's see, what, did I have a plane there? Oh yeah, I also had a destroyer going into there as well, but he sunk my destroyer. So I couldn't throw a blocker against 
his little navy there, so I had to uh, consolidate into Transjordan instead of Egypt, which I just knocked down, but I left a blocker there. Because he, he could be uh, ready to set off of Egypt if I didn't throw that block. Because I couldn't throw that blocker, but which got destroyed by his destroyer. And so I had to consolidate into any as well. Put all that stuff in there, a couple of stuff. But with my navy from here and from India and here, also with my Royal Royal, Royal Air Force sunk. The Japanese little fleet there of a carrier, two fighters, a battleship. Which was fine. Relatively to myself, surprisingly. I didn't lose much. And of course, taking my transport to two men over to here. Going further west, young man. And get away from that Japanese sub, too. <laughs> At the time, he was lurking. And let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, like I said, I had to put eight men into... Um, the UK because of a possible sea line with four transports of stuff and a whole bunch of planes and uh, bombardments coming in coming my way and I couldn't go after his sub at sea zone so I took my took my um, destroyer from here into that sea zone to, to for a blocker against that transport and then bombarding battleship so he couldn't attack me next round with full force. And of course I took I took a tank, transported in there for more defense. Ah, uh, I'm not stupid. <laughs> At least that in that way anyways. <laughs> yeah, if I really want to put more stuff here, maybe in a possible factory in there, but he forced me to go on the defensive, unfortunately for me. Oh, yeah. Let's see who else to turn on. It would be Sonny Niu. He bought he bought a transport. I know, and I forgot what else. I know he bought a industrial complex. I don't know what else he bought. I'm not too sure what else. But as you see, I think he bought a couple of um, artillery as well. As you see, went further into China. Two Chinese territories. Minimal losses to himself. And consolidated. C-36 with his uh, navy. Marine Navy sending his sub right there as well. And transporting more stuff. Into, I believe it's this, into this territory. Into that territory. To, um, how you say a famous assault and I think it'd be collecting what 40 no 32 in IPCs I believe I might be mistaken but there it is of course he's consolidated into uh into China with all that stuff Ugh. which is very formidable very formidable but you made a mistake here Losing a transport, well, I'll explain why. For America's turn, I had I had to take it for sharpshooter. For this round, anyways, I hope you'll be back for round two. So what the, basically America bought was oh, pretty much a navy right there, carrier, I believe a destroyer, I believe a transport, and uh. And a destroyer as well. Two destroyers, I say, he bought. So, with those two submarines lurking, which he destroyed that uh, previous uh, small navy of America's of a tr tr two transports and a destroyer. Hmm. So, he's still lurking about there. So, uh, America was forced to buy a couple of destroyers as well. But, of course, they had, had to uh, retreat out of Szechuan because oncoming Imperial Army surrounding all sides. So 
and went to Kazakh. But America, with her Navy in the Pacific, all went to Iwo Jima and took it over with no casualties to itself. And so they're lurking about off the coast, near the coast of Tokyo Bay, along with its industrial complex. So you better watch out, Sonny. Like I said, the plane from America went one, two, three, and six, he's on 62, destroyed it as a freebie, and went to Beresha. And hopefully, Russia will protect that aircraft. Because he has, I think if some of Japan's aircraft can still reach it, along with that Navy right there as, as well. We'll see how that goes. Sonny was too used to playing anniversary style and global, so he wasn't too keen on Britain going before Japan and also with China. It really is American forces. They can uh, go into other lands as well as that fighter did and those troop, two troops did as well. So he made that mistake. Uh, he'll learn from it soon enough. Yeah, so America would be collected, I believe. They saved some money, so they'll be up to 46 in IPCs, which is fine <laughs> with the Allies. Fine with me as well. And so, as I like to do on my recaps, the total IPC losses. Russia lost a lot of grounders. They lost 11 infantry. Three, how you say, three uh, artilleries and a sub. For a total of 51 rubles in IPC losses. Whereas Germany's unit IPC losses is also at 51. It lost a bunch of grounders as well. A tank, I believe nine infantry, destroyer, sub, and artillery. For a total of 51 marks. Whereas Britain, my Britain, Lost even more, 65 pounds of IPC losses. Lost a couple of, lost a precious battleship, a couple of cruisers, lost a trans, transport, sub, and destroyer. Hmm. Whereas the Japanese lost even more in 67 yens in IPC losses. They lost a couple of fighters, oh, whole carrier, battleship, a couple of infantry and a transport whereas United States losses were 34 bucks it losses a little light lost a, lost a lot for see it looks like four troops a couple of um, transports and a destroyer that was off the coast of its east uh, coast so I hope you enjoyed that so next turn in this game would be Bluegrass Generals Russia. Please describe all these guys here and watch. And I hope you enjoyed it. Also, please subscribe to another ongoing anniversary game with Paletto 1969 and Corporal Clegg. Paletto is hailing from Mexico where, where Clegg is hailing from Britain. So, different continents, different countries. Cool. Watch the game. I think it's in round four right now. So I encourage you to watch it. I know I am. So, hope you all enjoyed all that. And hopefully this game will go on pretty soon within three days. Three, four days. That's all the rule we have. Try to do our turns in four, within four days. So, Horn Pig, Sunny New, Rose V6s. You're playing against us allies. Don't live it up!